Hello guys and welcome in the 12th episode. In this episode we will implement the next button behavior and also solve one of the issue which was reported by Namra99. Thank you very much for that. Uh, this, uh, this issue which he spotted is uh, actually very important because it can cr crash our game. Open the project and first of all we will solve the issue. Uh, maybe I will explain you what the issue is. I'll just press play. Go to the play and choose one of the picture. And as you can see on this screen, you are able to press the main menu button. And you also can press the give up button or swap button. Okay, if you keep pressing on those buttons and then put the resume, the game is freaked out. This is not what we want. We want to have this button inactive whenever in-game menu pops up. Okay, let's solve this one first. Go to the scene folder, open the game scene. How we're going to so solve this, this issue is by creating additional tag which will be checked inside the code and uh, based on the game status which we are in we will allow or disallow this button to be pressed. It's a very simple solution. Okay, let's first uh, look at the main menu button. Just uh, open the main menu project, click on the menu and as you can see this, uh, this, object, uh, this game object have attached the button script. Just click on the tags add tag and then under the tags click this small plus and maybe I will name the tag like uh, gameplay tag you can name it whatever you like you have to press the save okay then click again on the on the menu button and then from the tag list just choose the gameplay tag okay then click on the swap button swap puzzle button choose the tag to gameplay tag and click on the give up button and do exactly the same. Just make sure it's set to the gameplay tag. Okay, let's save the scene. And now go to the scripts, open the, uh, open the button script and then scroll down on the on mouse down. And right at the top of this function, we will add the F statement if game manager dot game status dot status is not equal to game status dot game start dot gameplay and game object dot tag is equal to and then put the tag tag name and then what we're gonna do in this situation we're gonna return return okay I will explain you what this function is doing uh, first of all, we are checking if the game is currently in any different state than play. If it is, then obviously this statement will be true. True. If the specific button which have the script attached to it have the tag name, gameplay tag, then this statement is true. Okay. This is how we check how we can check the tags from inside the code. And if those conditions are satisfied. Then we're going to return from this function. That means this function will be end at this point. We won't be able to executing any of these statements below. This is uh, this is actually the simplest thing to put in to actually make sure the game is working fine. Let's save everything. Go back to Unity. Go back to the scene folder. Then main menu. Press play. And we're going to test it. Let's press play. Choose any picture, try to press on any of this button. As you can see, the main menu button is not moving anymore. I will keep pressing this button. So, okay, press start. And the game is working fine. Let's try to swap the puzzles. The swap swapping effect is fine. Uh, the give up button is fine. We have to also test the main menu button. Uh, let's choose another picture again. And uh, press main menu. We cannot press these buttons anymore. And looks like this, the problem is solved. Okay, let's go to implement now the next button. Open the menu select scene. First of all, we want to store all of the pictures in the list. And then whenever we press the next button, we want to, cho we want to switch to the next, next index inside the list. Okay, and then based on that, we're going to pick the next picture to be loaded in our game. Okay, let's open the script folder. Open the menu select script. And inside the script, we will have to add a few more variables. First of all, type public static. 
list and this is going to be list of picture okay just make sure you included this uh, this line using using system collection generic if you take out this line from here the compiler will not recognize the word list and uh, you won't be able to use it just make sure you use the using system collection generic okay if you don't have it and then i will name this uh, picture list maybe list of list of pictures equal to new list of pictures okay make sure we you initialized it actually this list can be private you can take this word this public static from here and uh, put the private because we want uh, we do not want to actually access it from outside okay uh, then another list will be the list of names this list needs to be static and public public static a list list of string and I will name it picture name list okay is equal to new list of strings and then third variables will be public static string current picture name okay this current picture name will hold the name of the currently chosen picture okay let's save everything and scroll right at the bottom we will have to add another function which will be void add picture to the list and then inside this function i will use the for each for each objects sorry object i will name it p in object dot find objects of type make sure you're using the objects not object if you use object this function will return just the one object but if we're using the objects it's going to return the list of the objects just make sure there is a s over here inside this function we want to pass type of picture okay what this uh, actually for each is doing is just looping through all of the available elements inside the scene which uh, have a type of the picture if there is any of it we will we want to check if the current list of the picture doesn't have that object already to do that we will put the f statement let's copy the name of the list dot contain contains and then we will just make sure we have the right tab, uh, type picture p okay because p is a type of the object we want to cast it to the to the p to be a picture because this list containing the pictures and over here we can use this uh, exclamation mark or we can just put equal equal false this is doing exactly the same i just like using the exclamation because it's shorter and then inside this list if the list doesn't contain this picture we want to add to the list that's meaning we want to put the list of picture dot add and then put the object p just make sure you cast it to pictures okay we can put the debug uh, to actually just indicate debug log picture p dot name has been added to the list okay let's save it and then we want to use this add picture to list inside our start method just copy this name and inside right at the beginning inside the method we want to call this function okay and then at the bottom of this start function we want to loop through all of the available pictures which is going to be for each picture p in list of pictures and then we want to check if picture name list doesn't contain the name of this picture contain p dot name if it's not then we want to add this picture this name to the to the list p dot name okay let's save everything and then go to the picture script and then inside on mouse down we want to actually store the name of the picture right at the top we want to use the menu select 
dot current picture name is equal to game object dot name. Okay. Whenever we click on the, any of the picture, we load the game, but we want to store this name inside our variable. Let's save everything. Let's go to the bottom for uh, bottom script. Inside the bottom script, we will create addition, another function. Right above move to position function, I will create a void, load next picture. Okay, and inside this function, the first thing we need to do, we need to get the index of the current puzzle. We do that by using the int current puzzle index is equal to menu select dot picture name list dot index of index of and then we will have to up pass the current name of the picture which is the menu select dot current picture name okay this this way we're gonna take the the index of the current selected picture if current puzzle index plus one that's mean we're checking the next picture if the next picture is less than the menu select dot picture name list dot count as mean we can go to the next uh, to the next uh, picture then what we want to do we want to do exactly what this uh, picture script is doing which is the loading this okay go back to the bottoms do you want to pass this one? We want to set the menu select current picture name to be the menu select picture name list current puzzle index plus one. And then the, the folder name will be the same. And then else. If not, if we cannot go to the next picture because we are already at the end of the list, we want to load the first one, the first available picture. Copy this one and putting the index zero here. Okay. Now the first picture right at the bottom. We want to change the game state to be the start. Game manager dot game status dot status is equal to game manager game state dot start okay let's save it okay and we will have to call this uh, function from somewhere uh, i think the best idea will be to check the name of the of the game object uh, let's scroll down to the move to position function and right at the bottom as you can see we're currently checking for the names we want to check if the game object dot name is equal to i believe the the bottom name was next but let's double check it inside the unity just go back to the unity inside the game scene click on the win game menu and make sure the object name is next okay we want to go back to the to the bottom script and then we want to pass this next inside here okay and if that's true then we want to load next picture. Okay, the reason why we're do, doing this uh, this call here inside this move to position is because first of all we want to let the bottom uh, just uh, slide to the to the end of the line, and then we want to load the ne next picture. Okay, let's save everything, go back to the Unity, and then open the main menu script uh, main menu scene press play and just let's test, let's test it just load any of the picture press start and then when you press the give up button you have the main menu and then press next and this is not working fine okay let's see what's happened go back to the code let's go to the to the move to position load uh, sorry load next picture function and uh, yes, uh, we we are loading. Actually, we are saving uh, the current name, the next name of the picture, but we are not loading the screen, uh, the the new scene. What we want to do is uh, we want to call the application application dot load scene. Uh, sorry, load level, and then let's see what uh, what our level is, uh, the name of the level. 
just go back to the Unity and our level which we want to load is a game scene okay let's copy the name to make sure we're not making any spelling mistakes then bottom script let's pass this level the name okay and the game scene will be loaded with the new picture name let's save it again and go back to the unity play choose any of the picture for example this one start then give a button then press next and the game loading the next available picture Press start again give up okay next okay the, the next button is working fine in the next episode we will actually store the results whenever the player solve the puzzle uh, we will create the ini file where we're going to store the results from our game and then we at the beginning of the game if the puzzle has been solved previously we will display the green tick on the top of the picture okay thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode mm -hmm.